the Bloodhound supersonic car with the power of a fighter jet meant to break the sound barrier and achieve the magical 1000 miles per hour or 1600 kilometers an hour. Plans started in 2008 during the last global depression and getting finance has been a battle. The team needs 20 million pounds or about 400 million rands, about the same as the money used for a Formula One campaign. The big expense is bringing in a team of 50 people from the UK, technicians and engineers that will support the car here in South Africa up on Hagski and Pan for three months. If we don't get that funding, and it's looking very difficult at the moment, the car will be here in 2017, probably from May. Engineers have been hard at work for almost a decade to get the car ready. The biggest headache, getting the car to stay on the ground. We've had to overcome challenges such as all the legal compliance issues of bringing a car that's powered by uh, a military jet engine and uh, a hybrid rocket motor that could have military implications. And of course then we need to think about the environment. But there's some good news for the Bloodhound team. Hakskin Pan is flooded, which means all the damage done from testing on the pan in the last two years will be repaired. The car is expected to be completed in the next few months before low speed testing starts in the United Kingdom. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley.